So here are the ingredients for the fire piston that I just made. This is a project I've been wanting to do for a while and decided to finally get off my butt and do it. I took an old drumstick and 7A, which fit almost fit inside this aluminum tube. I had to I had to sand it down quite a bit. I just put it in a, a drill chuck, had a board with a nail to steady it and make it my own little like homemade lathe and some rough, rough sandpaper, then smooth sandpaper, and then made it fit. At the end of the day, I came up with this. I put this big ball on the end because basically what I do, I see it's got an, it's got an O-ring. You want to have a really, really tight fit because this whole thing is working on the concept of, of high compression. High compression is what generates the heat. This is really the, the principle behind the diesel engine and stuff. So you see it it comes back out by itself it's got such high compression okay so i put this in on the ground i used it i put this big wooden ball in there so it wouldn't hurt my hand and real fast and forcefully you force it down and bottom it out i have put um some char cloth in here beforehand and char cloth will catch and hold an ember really nicely so that'll that'll be a little glow you can start blowing on that create a little bit more oxygen to the ember transfer that ember to another bigger cloth into your tender blow it into a fire quite easy nice little and for lube i've got some uh some silicone proper silicone lubricant instead of vaseline which is better on the on the o-ring should last a long time and this costs nothing anyway all right the char cloth i'm talking about if you're not familiar with char cloth I sacrificed and bought some expensive German candy because I wanted something a little bit bigger than an Altoid tin, which would work fine. This candy was good. So you take this tin, you want to be in a, an oxygen deprived environment. So you do cut a little, poke a little hole, I drilled a little hole right in the middle of this, and you just cut up some old cotton of something organic. You don't want to have anything, any, anything synthetic some kind of organic like cotton in this case I use old cotton underwear and you put it on a fire put it put the bits of cloth in here put it on a fire you'll see smoke coming out when the smoke finishes it's pretty much done it's cooked a very oxygen deprived environment what you come up with is char cloth this really really holds an ember it's nice stuff all right so I'll take a little piece of this You can tell it's ready when it breaks off really easy. It's quite brittle. It breaks off easily. Boil that up. Stick it in the end of my uh, piston. Get in there. All right, now we're ready to go. Stick this in here. All right, here we go. For my tinder ball, I've taken some uh, mostly bamboo stuff from a from a bird's nest. Take some some kapok, a natural cottony stuff that's used for pillows and mattresses and stuff in the old days, and uh, for life preservers because it doesn't absorb water, so it, it helps float. So I put that in there. So it makes makes good idea to uh, to put another piece of char cloth in there and put a little bit of the fiber on that. So I'm gonna put the small ember that I get out of the end of the uh, end of the piston in here, blow it to life. Voila, fire.
Well, not quite as easy as a lighter or a match. Lighter or a match, but works. Interesting. First time I've ever done that. <laughs> 